of impeachment against President Donald Trump have been approved. Good evening, I'm Heather Lewis. The House Judiciary Committee has voted along party lines 2317 to move forward with impeachment based on abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Colorton's Jesse Inman spoke with a Missouri senator who called this development predictable. Jesse? Yeah, that's right. I spoke to Senator Roy Blunt today. He is a Missouri Republican and he said that this was expected, but a more important vote is set to happen next Wednesday. Day. That is when a full House vote will take place. Senator Blunt indicates that voting along party lines will likely be a theme going forward, and the Democratic controlled House is expected to vote to impeach President Trump, but it's up to the Republican controlled Senate to actually remove the president from office. Now, Roy Blunt believes that it will go to trial in the Senate, but he thinks that that's where the impeachment process will likely end. My guess is the bipartisan vote next week when the House votes on articles of impeachment is all the Republicans and at least a handful of Democrats voting not to impeach. I think that's a pretty good indication of what's likely to happen when this issue is taken up by the Senate. Now that Senate trial will, will go through January and could even spill over into February, depending on the number of witnesses called. And if the trial is prolonged by Senate leader Mitch McConnell, it could take a lot of media attention away from Democratic presidential candidates during those final crucial weeks leading up to the primaries. And that is going to be political death to some of these candidates especially when you think about Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, who are sitting U.S. senators and top contenders for that Democratic nomination, having to go back to Washington, D.C. to sit in the Senate and basically listen to a lot of witnesses come forward that are going to be controlled by Republican rules and essentially have really no time to get out there and, and campaign in those last few weeks heading into Iowa and New Hampshire. That was Color 10 political analyst Dr. Brian Calfano for us there. Now, the first primary starts in Iowa on February 3rd when the Senate trial could still be going on, which will need a two-thirds vote to remove President Trump from office.